Today I am doing a braided style for you guys, and I'm actually gonna, um, I'm trying to do more non-vintage stuff, so, uh, I had a couple of you ask about the back part of my braid in the video, and I thought I would just add the front part, too. Um, so, I don't know, hopefully you guys like it. Here we go! So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a fine tooth comb and I'm gonna separate my bangs from the rest of my hair because that's what I'm gonna start braiding first. So, I'm just gonna section. Um, I'm just kind of going with the natural part of my bangs. You can go a little bit further over if you want. Some girls do their braids starting way far over and go that way, and some of them just do it, you know, from the middle or whatever. But just go kind of what looks with what looks natural with your hair. So, then I'm gonna section a good amount of the top and just section it into a straight line and then I'm going to take a bobby pin and just pin it back that way it makes it a little, e little easier when you're braiding to kind of keep it all together so now I'm just going to start um, if you guys don't know how to French braid this may be a little difficult for you because I'm filming it myself so I'm going to try to get everything in here I hope I don't miss anything um, but uh, you may want to try to find a video that's more technical with French braiding. This is more kind of just how to put it together. So, you're going to start with three pieces. And you want them pretty small so that the braid starts tight. And then you just go one over the other. And once you've started your first three over each other, you bring in some more hair. And then Put that over the next piece, and then on the other side, you bring in more hair, and then put that over the middle piece, and then on the other side, you do the same thing, and you just keep bringing in more hair until it's all braided. You can take it over as far as you want. I like to take it over a little bit so that I can tuck the end underneath. And I generally find also, if you've never done a French braid on yourself, it takes a little bit um, to kind of figure out. And especially when you're doing it sideways and you're used to doing it down the back, it's a little trickier. So if you get your hair wet, um, it kind of keeps the little pieces in. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll do this the night before when my hair is wet because I shower in the evening. And then I'll just sleep with it. And it actually is kind of cute in the morning because it's kind of messy and there's some pieces poking out. Which, I mean, you can do anyways. You can just loosen it a little bit, which I may do at the end. Um, but it's just an easier way to uh, create a messy look without actually pulling your hair apart. So then, um, my hair is actually still kind of damp from a shower. I would say it's maybe 80% dry and it's a little bit easier when there's a little bit of dampness to it because it sticks. My hair is really straight as you can see this is exactly how it dries so um, it's just it doesn't stick in hairstyles very well and a lot of you will also tell me like with the vintage hairstyles how you get it to stick. Um, the wetness for those styles isn't so good but for this style uh, it, kind of keeps the braid a little easier. So basically you're going to do the same thing. Start at the top and I actually start off center. So I start on this side of my head and then I'm going to bring it down around to this side. all the way down the back and then 
leave a little bit of a tail at the bottom because that's what you're going to hide your rubber band with. So I take a rubber band, um, I want to try to match it to my hair. It'll be easier to conceal it. And just tie the bottom. And now you're going to want to just smooth out any rough bits on the top. And then I like to take out a few pieces that frame my face on both sides. And now you can repin that front piece and just hide that bobby pin underneath the hair that goes over the top. So now I'm just going to take the braid and I'm just going to flip it up this way and then tuck the uh, elastic underneath your hair so that it's hidden and then you're going to take some bobby pins and just secure your hair into that elastic. It'll make it uh, a little more secure than if you just go straight through the hair. And then if you crisscross the bobby pins, it's extra secure in there. And then you can just take these loose, awesome, I mean if you want to keep them, you're more than welcome, but if you don't, you can just tuck them and pin them in there. And just be sure to hide your bobby pins. Make sure you don't have any sprouting up the top. And then I also secure it on the bottom because if you don't, it kind of like, it shakes and it feels weird when you're walking. So I just put one pin underneath to kind of anchor it. And there you go, the braided look. This is really easy if um, you don't have time to wash your hair or you don't have time to style your hair in the morning. You can do all the braids the night before and then just pin it in the morning. Um, it's really good too if you're running around or if it's a really windy day. Um, it's just kind of like a tight to the head uh, style. And it's also good too if you go to a gym and maybe you swim or something, you can put a swimming cap over the top of it and then take it off and have a hairdo. So, I hope this was helpful. I'm trying to do more non-pin-up hairdos. Um, so if there's any styles that I have in my videos that you like and you want me to recreate them, I would be happy to. Just let me know what it is you want to see and I will do it for you guys. So once again, here's my style. Thanks for watching.